Happy Easter Sunday to all those who celebrate. Beautiful day at the ballpark here on this Sunday. For the Tigers, they are looking for the sweep. For the White Sox, looking for their first win of the season. On the mound, Jack Flaherty in his Tigers regular season debut. The Korean baseball pitcher of the year last year, Eric Fetty, is on the hill. We've seen clutch hitting. We have seen spectacular defense. And yes, you mentioned it. It's been about the bullpen. They have had the biggest impact on these games. Eric Fetty going to the mound after just a banner year last year and last season in Korea. He made 30 starts, was 20 and 6 with an ERA of an even two. You look at those numbers, they jump out at you. The strikeout certainly only 35 walks. That's a good thing, and that's what he's going to have to replicate. It on the hands popped up the second base, and it's Braden Shoemaker getting his second consecutive start. Reports the first out here in this ballgame. Eric uh, does not have a high strikeout rate career wise. It's under 18%. And the count, one and two. Got a swing and a miss. His first strikeout as a pitcher here for the White Sox. We'll take another look at what appears to be a slider. Puts it in a perfect spot. He's not looking to get too much break on it, just enough to take it off the sweet spot, and he throws it by him. The 2 2. Swinging a ground ball and a base hit into left field. Shortstop DeYoung was shaded up the middle. Kerry Carpenter took a pitch away and just punched a ground ball single into left to extend the inning for Riley Green. Swing to the first pitch. Fetty will glove it, make the toss, and will get out of this first inning. A hit, no runs, one left after a half. And the 28 year old native of Burbank, California, Jack Flaherty, big guy, works middle of the rubber, 6'4, 230. Lined up the middle off the diving glove of Baez. And Andrew Benintendi starts off this bottom of the first with a single. That brings up Moncada with a man on and nobody out. Rolled over to second base. Cole Keith's only play is at first. Benintendi on to second, and there's one away. Luis Robert Jr., two home runs yesterday against Kenta Maeda. 3-2 is called strike three, a slider that looked like it was ball four, and Flaherty will take it for his first Tigers punch out. Yeah, you just like the player again, establishing his fastball to both sides of the plate. As Jimenez's bat is also a ground ball. It's Urshela fielding the baseball to handle Eloy Jimenez. Mark Canna leads off for the Tigers. He had a big game yesterday. And he just froze Canna there. Second strikeout of the ball game. Canna thought this one was wide of the plate. Me like it had a piece of the lower part of the zone. Good late movement. Gets the job done. Two down, and now Gio Urshela, the veteran third baseman. As he wands this ball into right field. It's a base hit. Extends his bat, and he's able to get enough of that baseball to throw it into short right field. Another one off the end of the bat. Out to right center. Fletcher will make the catch. So two scoreless innings for Eric Fetty. No score. Goes to the bottom of the second. Here's Braden Shoemake. He's playing second today. Was it short yesterday? And his first career hit was a home run. Flair to left field, and that one will get down. So Shoemake, with his second start, gets the hit here in his bottom of the second. Okay, so you never really know how things are going to work out. And Shoemake had the battle to just make the team. Shoemake making his bid to actually get some more play. There goes Shoemake. The throw down to second. Not in time as Shoemake steals second. We'll take another look. This is a good slide. And Shoemake throws himself away from the tag. Otherwise, that ball beats him. As you can see, he does miss him. The Sox have a man in scoring position. Swing and a miss. It was a fastball that tore him down. Yeah, he just blew that ball right by DeYoung. Really good location here. And with two strikes in a protect mode, he had no chance. Heater, see you later. It was a pleasure. Jack Flaherty reaching back. Third strikeout for Flaherty. Ends the second. Strands a man at second. Head to the third inning. No score. Tigers and White Sox. Corey Lee leads off his first start of the season. Corey Lee sends this one out to left center. It is gone. A solo home run for Corey Lee. White Sox take a 1-0 lead. We watched Lee most of last season. And this year, starting in spring training, he looked like a different guy. He was hitting the ball out of the ballpark. He was making contact. He wasn't filling off anything. His second career home run, his first this season. Moncada bats with one away. Going Moncada shoots that one the other way to left field. He's looking to the entire way. He's digging into second, and he gets in safely. A one-out double for Yohan Moncada. 
If you're going to get a fastball, and that one was right down the middle, the inside out swing turns into a base hit. Ancana now at third with two outs for Jimenez. That's a called strike three, and that wasn't even close. Yeah, but, but the Tigers will take it. Yeah, I'm really surprised that the guys are not being aggressive on that pitch down because he continues to call that pitch. Big break for Flaherty. That's the fourth strikeout for Flaherty. We head to the fourth inning. One nothing after three. Three four five in the Tiger batting order. Carpenter one for one. Speaking of deep to right field Carpenter does crush. Absolutely crushed. That ball was demolished. He's one of the few guys that can climb the ladder and drill a baseball the way he drilled that one. He threw the breaking ball the next pitch, and Kerry Carpenter did not miss mm. right into that Tiger bullpen. That ball was hammered. Are you hungry, Simo? I am. Like for pizza? 1 0 for Canna. Oh, man, that is just a rocket into center field, and Canna's 1 for 2. Now we're starting to see the Tiger players make the right adjustments here. A walk puts two on, brings up Javi Baez. And if he makes a mistake, here's where Baez can capitalize. Got him swinging. And Eric Fetty is pumped up coming off the mound. Tiger strand runners at first and second. Well, Carpenter tied it with the home run. Tied it one. Nick Rogers is waiting to lead off in a 1 1 game in the fifth inning. And this to Jake Rogers. To left field it goes. And Rogers gets it up and out of here. 21 last year. His first here in 2024 in the Tigers have taken the lead. Jake Rogers got a ball in that happy zone and he crushes that ball to left field. So the day is done. Eric Fetty does a really good job. We'll have a pitching change in the fifth. It's the Tigers two and the White Sox one. Here's Eloy Jimenez who's 0 for two. Rounded left side Urshela has time and Jimenez is thrown out at first. Looks like Eloy's got himself a sore leg. Eloy was running like he was hurt. Sure hope he's all right. I mean, he's walking off okay, but he did not look great running down the line. Brings up DeYoung, who has struck out twice. Chafin works from the third base side of the rubber. Sends this one the other way to right field. Backing up is Carpenter, and it is out of here! Paul DeYoung ties the game at two apiece here in the seventh. Home run number one, RBI number one. And more important than that, it ties the game at two. Line drive rocket to right field, picked on the first pitch and rode it out of the park. First walk taken by the Sox today, and that'll bring up Corey Lee. Here he grounds the ball to second base. Keith the scoop, Baez the turn, safe at first, and Torque says review it. Real time, I thought he was out. Yeah, I thought he got him too. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge, and it's a fast challenge. I think he got him. Field is overturned. The runner is out. Yeah, that's the right call. Well done by New York. 4 6 3 double play. Top of the night. 6 7 8 to the plate for the Tigers. Gio Urshela with a couple good swings today. Line to left field. That's down for a base hit. Urshela will turn it back to first. One out single for Gio Urshela. Let's see if Javi Baez can do some damage. Got him. Frozen with the fastball. What a pitch by Wilson. Well, Baez is just standing there, and he can have no complaints about the location of this because it's pretty much right on the outer third. A perfect strike. The Tigers have two on with two out in the ninth inning. And here comes Pedro Griffol. Tim Hill will come into the ball game. And it might be Andy Ibanez Andy squeezing the sawdust out of that baseball bat. Ibanez is the batter here in the ninth inning. He let it eat right here. And he does. Into left field. Ibanez comes through. The Tigers take the lead. Beautifully done by the bench. It is 3-2. A.J. Hinch gets what he wants, and Ibanez once again pays it off. Again, coming up big against the lefty. Jason Foley out of the bullpen. We saw him close the game on Thursday, and he was ridiculous. Yeah, the White Sox down to their final out of the game. On the ground, right side of the mound. Colt Keith with the feed. That's a sweep with a glove flip from the rookie, and the Tigers take three in a row to open the season. 
all by one run for the first time in franchise history. We saw some clean baseball here at Guarantee Rake Field. Tiger sweep the series.